Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about particle physics and big data and how they apply together. Now, particle physics is really one of the most basic applications of big data, one of the earliest applications of big data, simply due to the way that particle physics collects data and how particle physics, um, scientific study of particle physics occurs. So before we talk about how particle physics and big data interact, we should do a brief overview of what particle physics is. Basically, particle physics is the study of fundamental particles that make up our universe. Um, particles like these ones. Uh, you have the quarks, you have your leptons, you have bosons, force carriers, and then you have the Higgs boson, which gives um, stuff mass. And basically, what these particles do is they make up our universe. Without these particles, uh, there is no universe. Now, how do we study these particles? How do we collect scientific measurements of these particles? Well, as you can imagine, these subatomic particles, they're very, very small. The quarks make up atoms, so they're much smaller than atoms themselves. And therefore, it's very difficult to study them. In order to do it, in order to study these particles, we use this old equation, E equals mc squared. Basically, energy and mass are related, and therefore, with a lot of energy, we can create mass, in a sense. We can convert that energy to mass. And how do we do it? Or how do scientists do it? Scientists do it at the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, it's beneath the border of France and Switzerland, and it is 27 kilometers wide in diameter. Basically what happens at this collider is that particles are sped up to enormously high speeds and then collided together in order to attempt to produce these particles that we are studying. And of course, in, in order to create all this data, we have, we have to have many, many collisions in order to confirm the discovery of one of these particles. This is how much data of the Large Hadron Collider produces in a year. Just raw data. As you can see, it's massive. It's a massive amount of data. And that it would be impossible for any human without big data technologies and big data analytics to draw any kind of meaningful conclusion from this data. Then how, how do we handle this data? How do scientists handle this data is with big data and big data's applications. At the Large Hadron Collider, first big data is used to analyze these, part, these collisions and determine which ones are actually interesting or, and that should be presented to scientists. Thousands of collisions, thousands of data points are discarded simply because they don't produce any inter interesting particles. From there, CERN is able to distribute the data across a worldwide network. Uh, as you can see, see here, CERN is a tier, the tier zero location and it stores most, much of the data and then from there, it is able to distribute it to tier one, tier two, and then individuals. Now that individuals have the data, they can analyze the data to determine what particles are produced. And this is the result. These particles, the, the, anal the analysis of these particles allows us to construct mass histograms like the one here. And then from here, we can draw conclusions as to where particles at what and en what energy levels these particles exist at. As you can see here, the spike uh, here at this amount of mass and this amount of energy tells scientists that here is a particle. It has this amount of mass. And this is only acquired through thousands of collisions that these, these particles become visible. So where do we go from here? Well, big data big data is going to become more and more important in the particle physics field. This year, uh, the Large Hadron Collider restarted after a several year hiatus and is moving up to larger energies than ever before. Larger energies mean more mass. Therefore, more particles are hopefully going to be discovered. From there, we'll have more collisions that need to be analyzed, and thus big data is going to become increasingly important in the field of particle physics. Thank you.